Good afternoon, everyone. This is Boris, Track Tested Motorsports. And today, Jag and I are going in a different direction um, as far as what we do. We're going to do a how to video. And the first one we're going to do is about uh, adding the diesel exhaust fluid uh, to a BMW diesel six cylinder twin turbo engine. It's actually quite easy, as you'll, I'm sure you'll agree once you see what I do. So, there are two tanks. Uh, one tank is up here in the front and uh, you just simply remove the cover, the plug, uh, or the cap, I should say. The other one's a bit hidden uh, close to the uh, engine oil filter, which we'll cover in another episode. You have to remove this intake hose. It just snaps out like this, and you can see the other tank is right here. One tank, one tank, tank is active, the other one's passive. Quite frankly, I'm not sure which one's which. I just know one's active, one is passive and it takes approximately one and a quarter gallons of diesel exhaust fluid to top them off if they were completely empty. Uh, the message on, on the, the display just came on yesterday. It, it said 999 miles uh, until empty on, on the diesel exhaust fluid. So I'm es estimating we'll probably use about a gallon. So we'll pour about a half a gallon in each tank. And I always like to use the BMW diesel exhaust fluid. You can buy diesel exhaust fluid at any gas station or truck stop, but I prefer to use BMW stuff. Make sure you pour it slowly, especially if you pour in from a large container like this so you don't make a mess. It is corrosive, not quite as bad as acid, but it's basically urea. And so you don't want to spill it. If you do spill it, make sure you pour some water on there and get it off. I never tested it, but I, I hear it can remove paints just like brake fluid can. I'm gonna to switch to the other tank. Oh, on this side, I need to point out that it's, it's wise to cover up the alternator and the wiring below um, or near the tanks. So you can see the alternator on, on the BMW diesels is light here on the, on the driver's side of the engine. I usually just use a simple uh, grocery bag and cover up that alternator just in case it overflows. I usually have one of these turkey basers handy too because this is not translucent, so you never really know when you're at the top. I kind of go by the sound, but just in case it overflows, what you can do is you can si suction it up and then just put it back in there. So just have that handy in a rag. So now we're going to top off this tank. Again, do not go too fast, just nice and slow, there it is. It's full. So that one's done. And as you can see, there is a little bit of overfill. So I'm just gonna try to get that up and get it in there. And then you can also use a rag to get the rest. Like this. And we put the cap back on. And then we replace the hose for the air intake. It goes from the front of the engine to the air box, and that's all. <laughs> 